Hey everyone, this is Topaz here from Topaz and Tourmaline. So I have another unboxing video that I'm doing. This is the Extraordinary Oracle that came to me. So I haven't seen the deck yet, but the first thing I wanna know is the beautiful bag that it comes in. So as you can see, it's got the hand stamp of the little witchy um, fortune telling ball. So I think that's really cool. And I also wanted to show you guys, let's see if I can make it. Oh, here we go. So. Here's a lollipop, which is a super cute touch. And hold on. I don't know if you can see this, but a bunch of pretty sparkles came out. So I am definitely one of those people who likes sparkles and glitter. So I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, so that's what they look like. Anyway, all right, so here we go. Let's start the unboxing video. So. Okay, first thing that we have is a little Extraordinary Oracle paper that says, You're extraordinary. Show us how you're turning the mundane into magic. Post a photo of your deck with the hashtag Extraordinary Oracle and tag us. Cool. Okay, so that's the first thing. We've got a little booklet here that talks about the little things. It says magic is all around us. It occasionally gets lost in the humdrum of every day, but if you tune in, you can feel it. So this talks about how to use the Extraordinary Oracle. It has these keywords and a description about them. And this deck is created by, let me get to my friend, Amanda and Natty. So I'm gonna see if I can find last names for them. But at the moment it just says Amanda and Natty. So here's my sealed deck. So the Extraordinary Oracle, like I said, is all about um, finding the magic in the everyday moments. So we're gonna see what we have here. Okay, so we have an interesting card stock. It's actually different than any of the other card stocks I've worked with before. It's, I guess, drier, for lack of a better phrase, if that makes sense. It's, um, yeah, it doesn't stick. Like, sometimes the decks will be a little sticky. This isn't the case with this one. So let's see, we're gonna start here. So. <laughs> so this is actually one of the funniest cards I think of the deck. It's called Half-Assed TV Dinner. So this is like kind of what I did today with my macaroni and cheese. It was totally half-assed macaroni and cheese. So that's one of the first cards that comes up. And this is what the back of it looks like. So, you know, there's our magical items that we use as witchy people. So that's one of the first cards. Here's another one. This is the letter card. And again, I have to really go through the guidebook to see exactly what I'm looking at here, but you've got also your ballpoint pen. The keys, and I think this is interesting because they could say that they're hearts, but they also look a little like the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? On the Ouija boards, it looks a little like that. Picture frames. Candles. This is definitely actually one of the cards here that sold me on the deck. I just thought it was really beautiful. It reminds me of the conservatory in the board game Clue, which I always have this love of. What, kitty? She's staring at you. What, Squeaks? The coins. Oh, you want to see? Oh, she wants to see. Oh. Kitty approved. Toothless says, magic? Oh, yes, I'm a little familiar. So your to-do list here, this is great. Probably my to-do list has looked like this before. Buy sage, set new goals, commit, get organized, get to it, dance in the rain, buy a ticket, and get shit done. Your necklace here. Your water here. Oh, okay, so this is really pretty too. I'm not going to show you all the cards because, you know, that's what fun is there in that if you see all the cards, but this is the one that I'm going to show you and then talk a little bit more about the deck and then we'll do a see you next time kind of thing. But yeah, so those are phases of the moon, which, you know, who, that's, that's where all the magic is really. So I'm going to do a quick shuffle with these and then pull a card that will speak to uh, the current energies surrounding us, um, if, you know, and see what messages the Extraordinary Oracle has for us. So 
to Funny Kitty Cat. Hey, you want to see the Extraordinary Oracle? <laughs> Let's see, maybe she wants to pick a card. Hey, Toothless, you want to pick a card? Want you to pick a card? Nope. No? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> what? Here it is. Pick a card. You embarrass me in front of everybody. Yeah. So let's see. What's the haps? What's the energies that our extraordinary oracle has to speak to today? All right. So I've got oh, recycling. So let me look up my little book here. So this is what the card looks like. So let me see, it's number, gosh, Roman numerals. Who expects me to know Roman numerals? Oh, that's definitely not it. Don't you want to tell me what the uh, Roman numerals are on this? <laughs> 28. Well, show me up to you and the cat. <laughs> 28, exactly. Yep, that's what I meant. Bloody hell. All right, Tony, recycling bin. Ha! Making the same mistake twice. A situation in which you found yourself before. No comment. Learn from the lessons you've already learned. Also, no comment. Give advice without the expectation that it will be received. Sort this out systematically. Why are you here again? What changes need to be made so you're not walking the same road in the future? It has definitely powerful advice. So I gotta think about that one for a little bit more. But again, here's your little recycling car that we pulled. There she goes. Anyway, so now you gonna pull a card? Wanna pull a card? Negatory. Okay, so anyway, thank you guys so much for being with the unboxing video. Shout out to Toothless in the back of me for being my little familiar. Shout out to Jimmy behind the camera for being a camera and putting up with these shenanigans and again so the extraordinary oracle oh, conjured up in nashville tennessee by amanda and natty so you can peep that out and i'll see you guys next time bye